So today we are starting on point slope form. Okay. So it's the equation of line using any point on a line and the slope of the line. So this is what I use if I just know one point in the slope. Okay, so the formula for this is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Yes. No. Okay, so m is my slope. And x1, y1 is a point on the line. So, this equation is based on slope. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute x for x sub 2 and y for y sub 2. I'm writing down what I just said. I'm substituting x for x sub 2 and y for y sub 2 in the slope formula. Okay, so then I want to multiply both sides of my equation by the stuff on the denominator. So this is going to get the x minus x sub 1 out of the denominator. So these will cancel out. So we can write an equation of a line using any point, which is x1, y1, and the slope m in point slope form. So, what will we need in order to find the y-intercept of a line using point slope? Okay. 
So a y-intercept is a point in the form 0 comma y. We talked about this earlier. So what we want to do is, so to find the equation in point slope, form, and we're going to plug in 0 for x. So a line with a slope of 1 half passes to the point 3, negative 2. So this is the important information. What form can you use to write the equation of the line? What is the equation of that form? So we are given the point and a slope. So we're going to use point-slope form. So my first step is to identify my slope m and my given point x1, y1. So what was my slope? My slope was 1 half. And my x1 is what? What's the first number in the point? 3. And then my y sub 1 is um, negative, two. negative 2. So now I want to substitute them into point slope form. So I'm going to write point slope form again just so we have it on the screen right now. Okay, so I'm going to plug these in. So I have y minus from the formula, negative 2 from my y sub 1 equals m, which is 1 half, times x minus my x sub 1, which is 3. And so then from here, all I want to do is I want to fix that double negative. What is it going to turn into? Yeah. So in point slope form, it's y plus 2 equals 1 half times x minus 3. I can leave it like that if it wants it in point slope form. Okay. So on the back side, I want to find the equation of the line that passes through negative 4, 1, and 2, 3. This one, it does not give me the slope, but it gives me two points. So what do you think I need to find first? Slope. So I'm going to label my points and use the slope formula to find the slope. So remember that formula is m equals y sub 2 
minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. I'm going to label my points x1, oops, x1, y1, x2, y2. Guys, stop talking. Okay, so I'm going to plug into my formula. My y sub 2 is what? It's 3. My y sub 1 is? 1. My x sub 2 is? And my x sub 1 is? Okay, so I want to go ahead and simplify this. 3 minus 1 is? And 2 minus 4 is the same thing as adding? No. Positive 6. Okay. Then I want to go ahead and simplify this. I can either do it by hand or... I know this one's one third, but I'll show you on the calculator again. I do 2 divided by 6. It gives me the... Oops. It gives me the decimal. Then I press math, enter, enter, and it gives me it back as a simplified fraction. So my slope here is one third. Stop talking. So now that I have the slope and one of my given points, I can write the equation. So I'm going to use the slope in one point to use point slope. So my slope was one third. Which point do you want me to use? The negative four one or the two three? Okay. Either one should give me correct answers. So this is what I'm going to plug in for my x and y. And we're still using our point slope form, which remember is y minus y sub one equals m times x minus x sub one. So I'm going to have y minus 3 equals 1 third x minus 2. Okay, is there any double, neg double negatives I need to fix? No. So then this is in point slope form, and I'm done. Can you wait till I finish this problem? Okay, so it is, it's more simplified to write the equation in slope-intercept form. So we can convert from point-slope to slope-intercept, converting lines in point-slope form to slope-intercept is just solving for y. Steven, take notes. Okay. So this one wants me to write the equation of a line that has a slope of 3 that passes through the point 3, 2. So I'm plugging again into my point slope form. So, this is my m, this is my x1, y1. So I'm going to go ahead and replace those in the equation. I have y minus 2 equals 3 times x minus 3. Okay, 
So now I want this to be in slope intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. I need to get my y alone. So I'm going to distribute that 3. So I still have y minus 2 on the left. What is 3 times x? 3 times negative 3? Negative 9. Okay. Then how do I get y alone? How do I get y alone? Add 2 to both sides. So then I get y equals 3x. And then negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. Okay, so that's my answer for part A. Okay, so B, same idea, except this time I'm given two points. So I first want to plug into the slope formula. <coughs> so I'm going to label x1, y1, x2, y2. Plugging in for slope, what's my y2? <coughs> 6, y, y sub 1. 0. My x sub 2? My x sub 1. Okay, 6 minus 0 gives me 4 minus 1, 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So my slope is 2. I have my m and I have my x1, y1. So I'm going to plug into my formula. I have y minus, what's my x, or my y1? 0. What's my m? My x, and then my x sub 1. Okay, so what's the first thing you want me to do here? Okay, so I'm going to distribute that 2. I still have y minus 0 on the left. What's 2 times x? And then 2 times negative 1. Okay, so then I have y minus 0 equals 2x minus 2. What do I do about that minus 0? I could add it, but it's 0. I just can get rid of it. So then my final answer is y equals 2x minus 2.